Hi, everybody. This is Pavel Vinařík speaking. I'm Chief Technology Officer at Camp Technologies, talking today at Networking Field Day about technology called Network Performance Monitoring and Diagnostics. And this in this session, we will do a deep dive into how this technology works uh, when it comes to Flowmon tool set. So it was mentioned multiple times, flow data. We all know what is it about. Originally, it's layer three, layer four information. It will give me an overview of traffic structure over a time frame. It will give me volumetric information. And what I'm going to show you today is much more you can get from this technology when it's evolving towards IP fix and when you put specific monitoring appliances in place that we call the probes. The, the good uh, things on this technology is transparency from the user perspective. So any user, any device, anything that communicates over the network is monitored by default. It's, it's the ability of the network provide this telemetry data. And it's also the reduction ratio, this, this uh, amount of data that you need to analyze and process compared to raw packets transmitted over the network. So that's what makes this technology pretty popular. And our speciality is uh, the probes that are able to expand on traditional flow monitoring principle. So in, in traditional flow monitoring, you focus on layer three, layer four information, and you create flows based on source IP address, destination IP address, source port, destination port, and protocol number. And you basically aggregate all the packets that share these common attributes. So you create statistical records that describe the network traffic that will tell you about all network sessions, how many packets, uh, what amount of data was transferred, how long the sessions last, what are the TCP flags that have been recognized in the traffic. So all this information is continuously aggregated and provided as a flow export to devices called usually collectors that are capturing and interpreting this data. So how Flowmon is different from this traditional concept? It's the probe. It's a specific device that receives a copy of the full network traffic using like a span port or tab. And this probe is generating flow records enriched with application layer metadata and enriched with network performance metrics. So Actually, you extract from the network traffic all the essential information that you need to know to understand not just the traffic structure over time, but also key performance characteristics with the ability to drill down to the individual session to understand round trip time, server response time, TCP retransmissions, and this type of network performance metrics. And at the same time, with application layer metadata, you actually don't need to run continuous packet capture all the time because you extract the most important information and you enrich the flow records with this information. So for that purpose, we leverage IPFIX protocol where we define our own enterprise extensions. So then it's according to the industry standard, according to RFC, and you can process this data, not just on flow mode system, but you can actually process this data in any third party IPFIX compatible collector. These probes come in different, different form factors. So obviously hardware appliances and virtual appliances for uh, common virtualization platforms, but also for the cloud, you can, you can monitor this way the traffic happening in the cloud as well. And if you go to marketplaces, you will find on AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure, you will find Flowmon appliance that can be deployed directly from the marketplace. And as the probe is actually getting full network traffic, it can do 
on-demand packet capture. So it can provide you a PCAP when needed. So it's up to you to say, okay, I need to troubleshoot this specific traffic, or you can trigger the capture automatically based on a detected event. So this is really what makes our technology completely different compared to traditional flow data coming from router switches that are very limited in terms of what information it provides. So, so of course, the, the technology on Flowmon side, it's not limited to probes. The advantage is a heterogeneous environment. And this is how a customer deployment may look like. So today infrastructure, it's not just the on-prem or it's not just the cloud, it's hybrid. So you look at the whole network topology, you identify where are the major uh, core switches, how the traffic is flowing through the network to determine your uh, monitoring uh, places, determine the spots in the network where you need to place these sensors or where you will take the flow data from the existing equipment. So in this scheme, you can see how I'm able to collect in the on-prem environment flow data from a router. I can expand by deploying a probe and getting the IP fix uh, from the probe. And I can actually, in the cloud environment, deploy virtual Flowmon probe, and I can leverage the VTAP functionality in the cloud to generate exactly the same telemetry as you are used to in the on-prem environment. Or I can ingest the uh, flow logs, like VPC flow logs in AWS, and I can natively convert them into flow data. So, so the Flowmon collector acts as an aggregator of different flow telemetry types, normalize this data and store this data in a single database where you can visualize, query the data, dashboard, dashboard results, and so on. So this is what we will see later on in the demos. So that's the typical way how the system is deployed in customer environment. Hey, Pavel, uh, Chris here again, got another question. Um, can we take the flow data that's uh, generated by the Flowmon probe. So just to kind of summarize, so it's taking actual traffic, doing a pack capture, and then turning that into flow data that I could ingest not only in the Flowmon collector, but also in my other flow collection tools. Is that correct? Exactly. And we'll get to it on a slide describing it in more detail, but exactly you can do it. And you can actually feed multiple systems in parallel with the flow data in multiple different formats. So it's it's like a Swiss army knife for the computer network, what you can do with it. So let's move on to some details on network performance monitoring and network performance metrics, what the probe is producing. So basically probe is monitoring all the network traffic based on copy of the full packet data from the network. So it's actually observing the TCP handshake and from the packet flow for each session, it extracts the round trip time. So it measures the delay introduced by the network. It correlates the client request and response from the server on the TCP layer, and it measures the delay between the client request is observed and between the first packet from the server side as a response is, is observed. And it also measures the delays between the packets to calculate jitter, which is useful for just specific type of traffic like real-time streaming, voice over IP, and so on. In addition to that, it looks for retransmissions. So it also measures per network session retransmissions. And as you have this very detailed data for, for individual sessions, you can either aggregate them to give a big picture, or you, or you can drill down to this data if you are dealing with an issue of a specific device against a specific server at specific time, you will see these characteristics and you can distinguish between the network delay and between the application delay in general. I've mentioned application metadata. So what you can expect, one of the examples of pretty important protocols in terms of uh, operation and security is DNS. So basically, when you observe a DNS request in the network, you can extract from that question type, question name, and you can enrich this information into the flow record. So then it's available as part of the analysis. 
And this is exactly what we are doing with multiple different protocols that primarily focus on what is being used by our typical enterprise customers with some, I would say, overlap to uh, the industry control systems. So you can see there on the slide some uh, protocols like IEC 104 or GOOSE or NMS, which are uh, protocols from the OT environment. And then all this information is available as part of the IP fix in the collector, and you can query and analyze this data. We'll, we'll see that in the live demo. So that's the reason why you don't need to Hi, run Pavel, this is Kim. Continuous... Just a quick yeah. question. Uh, are you able to extend this with your own custom uh, applications? Uh, for example, certain OT uh, devices and such to, to actually do the application performance? Uh, you're not able to do it as a customer, as a user of the system. This needs to be done by our development team. It's a specific module for the probe that is parsing or identifying that specific traffic and parsing information out of it. On the IP fix side, then it's easy, but the, the parser and the component for the probe needs to be implemented by us. You cannot do it as an as a customer. Okay. Another uh, topic that's uh, getting more and more attention, tunneling of the network traffic. So let's take VXLAN as an example. If you have uh, two virtualization platforms that will be using VXLAN as an overlay protocol to transfer the data between machines running in the virtual platforms, what you are going to see by network monitoring tools. What a surprise, you see the tunnel. So basically it's two IP addresses corresponding to virtual platforms. And they are sending a lot of packets over UDP between, between each other. And you have no real visibility who is talking to whom about what in the network. You cannot measure the network performance metrics. You cannot extract application layer metadata, but you can with the probe because the probe is able to understand that this is a VXLAN tunnel. It parses through the tunnel, then it strips off the, the tunnel header and starts the parsing process again. So you will get to the real traffic visibility what is inside the tunnel. And you can do the same, for example, with GRE tunnels. It's not, not limited just to, to VXLAN. So that's, that's why I call these probes, these army knives for the, uh, for the network traffic. And we're getting back to the question on where can I export the data? So the, the probe is able to export the data in multiple different formats to multiple different targets at the same time. So you can, from a single probe, you can feed IP fixed traffic statistics to Flowmon Collector. And at the same time, as your legacy SIM system is not able to process NetFlow net, like IP fix, it requires NetFlow V9. So you feed there NetFlow V9, and even to some old system, you can send NetFlow V5 in parallel. Or you can separate different traffic from VLAN 1 to collector A, from VLAN B, send it to collector B. Not a problem at all. So these are the flexible flow export capabilities. And we're getting to the on-demand packet capture. Why? Packet capture, not like a continuous recording of all the traffic, but as, as an on-demand packet capture. So you instruct the probe to record specific traffic and store it in a pickup format. For that, we have developed kind of a simple filtering language where you define your capture criteria as an, as an expression that describes the traffic that you are interested in and you will get it into a PCAP file. The probe is also equipped with an in-memory rolling capture buffer. So with each flow record, certain number of packets is stored for a limited time in case the packet capture needs those packets. If the capture task is started, it will also take the packets from the buffer. Why is it useful? 
because of anomaly detection and triggered capture. So with our NDR product, with the anomaly detection system, we're able to recognize different types of anomalies, like Frank mentioned at the beginning, this dictionary or brute force. And this detection can actually trigger the packet capture. So you will get not just the event and flow data, but you will also get a forensic PCAP related to this detection that you can expect further if you want. Plus, of course, you can configure the capture according to your needs. So you can create capture tasks, you can schedule it for the future. And as the, as the tool is not just the capture, but it's also the built-in like pickup analysis inside, you can also upload pickups that are captured somewhere else for automated analysis. What it means automated analysis, we are not here to replace Varshark. That's not the goal at all. But we are here to automate common troubleshooting and packet analysis tasks that you may do uh, because one system is not able to properly talk to another. So the packet investigator understands the common network protocols, their specifications, and what can go wrong in those protocols. So as a result, on the PCAP, you will actually get an analysis that will tell you, like in this example, we'll see, okay, so this is SMTP session, server is ready. Uh, there is a warning that client didn't authenticate it against the server. Then they changed to encryption. There is a TCP handshake, which ended with fatal error because of some detail that tells you like there's not a compatibility in TLS version between the client and between the server. So it's a built-in expertise and built-in knowledge in the system that will save you time by analyzing it by yourself in Varshark or, of course, add this capability to teams that are not, uh, let's say, that familiar with analyzing full packet traces in Varshark. So that's the, that's the purpose of uh, Flowmon Packet Investigator, capturing on demand and running this analysis out of the box. So as a result, you interact with a system starting on a dashboard that consolidates all the information from which you will drill down to details that are of your interest.